welcome back to the channel. So, uh, it's been a while. It took a while to get that um, old steering rack back to LKQ and tell them to give me my money back. And uh, ordered a new one. And I got this beautiful thing. Let's see if I can flip it. I got this guy. Just came in the mail. Nicely packed and everything. No more just paper and everything, you know, and thrown into a bottle, you know, thrown into shipping just to be damaged in shipping. So, this is the nice uh, Boss 302R rack since I tried it once with a GT and it didn't work because it was bad. So, I figured might as well just get the good stuff. So, today we're gonna get the steering rack swapped. So, uh, the plan is we're gonna drain all the garbage fluid, take the belt off. Take the power steering pump off. Uh, take all the lines and everything for the power steering. Take them out. Take the re re reservoir and all that ugh, liquid and yuck out. And then we're gonna put this guy in. Um, and then we'll go from there. I don't have my key member the um, what am I call the hole or the plate for this one. So we're gonna have to probably improvise something. But for now, I think even if I don't get it installed, we should be okay. So we're gonna just get these two in and uh, get it mounted and go from there. Should be fun. So stick around and let's get that um, rack swap. Alright, so I uh, disconnected one of the lines off of the steering rack and I'm kind of letting it um, slowly drain. There's a lot of tightness in there. Let me show you. <laughs> you can see in there there's four lines that are connected. This is all just disgusting because it's been leaking. There's a line that goes in here and it comes all the way back. And then there's the line that goes in between the radiator and uh, there's this line right here, which I'm probably just going to leave in for now until I replace the, the heat exchanger because otherwise I'll be sitting here all day working on this. So what we're going to do is take the razor bore out, take all the lines as much as I can. I'm gonna let all this drain and then once we drained we're gonna disconnect the steering rack there's the wires for the, the new rack already hanging I'm gonna disconnect this on both sides take the bolt off and two bolts off to hold this and then go to town on it all right managed to get the power steering pump out and the rack and everything it was a pain in the butt all right, here's what we got. Let's uh, swap this. Got the rack out. I left the um, tie rod ends on their wheels. I got the pump out. Uh, and then I got the, um, the tank out. So now uh, I can probably try and figure out how to get the, the new rack in there and uh, slowly uh, you know, get everything else reconnected.
Okay, so we got the steering rack in. Uh, my K member, the way it's, sh it's shaped. Ooh, nice. Um, I had to put a little spacer in between the rack and the K member. I'll show you what it looks like. Just put a couple of washers. Anyways, uh, so I put a couple of spacers, got the new rack mounted in. I got the, I got it bolted in as well. I got the plugs in. I need to zip tie them, of course, and then connect the tie rods, which is a excitement on its own. So let's take a look at what we got. So as you can see, it's in, mounted it right here, mounted it right here. So we got those two, just a, about four washers worth of a space. And then this right now, here comes the fun part of just screwing all this in to get the wheel to look somewhat straight. Then we're gonna do the other side. The plugs are in. We just gotta zip, zip tie the cables so they don't uh, catch into the belt. Then we gotta try the belt. And then I gotta connect the actual steering rack to the, um, the steering column, which Currently, it's just kind of like loose in here, but once we get that in, we're good to go. So, be right back. I got the the whole steering rack wired up. Uh, I mean, bolted up. I didn't want to bore you through the steps because all you need to do is just thread the, the tie rod ends back onto the the new steering rack. So let me show you what I got. Oh. I ended up having to use one washer here only on one side and then three washers there. The reason why I had to do that was because uh, the steering column was rubbing on the long tubes so I had to drop it a little bit. It's fine if it's just a little bit at an angle. All the cables, the two wires are plugged in. The two wires are plugged in and then we got this is just threaded in. I kind of eyeballed it to make sure that the wheel was straight. Kind of looked at it with, I kept the steering wheel straight and then I tried to get the wheel as straight as I could. Same thing for the other side. So just thread it, tighten this, got these two wires and then I had to zip tie them. But I have to make sure that they don't rub on the um, a crank or any of the other pulleys over here. So as you can see, this one's coming a little close for comfort, so I'll just add another zip tie here. And then other than that, that's it. I gotta bolt the, I mean, I bolt, put a new uh, belt on and then give it a try. So we're gonna try and put the belt on now. Okay, let's see how uh, good or bad of a measurement I've done on this belt. So first, as usual, we fish it through to the air conditioner. <sighs> Hot damn! How about that? 100 inch belt. I got pretty good coverage in here. I can actually move this up one hole and then add a little tension with a bigger pulley back in there. And that might actually give me a better belt wrap on this. But we're getting there. Let's put it back in and play back. Play with the belt a little bit more.
Okay. There you go. All right. We got some nice belt wrap over here. We got the bigger pulley on the center. Smaller pulley there. Remember that I have a I have a department of boost supercharger manifold, so her mileage may vary. This one is going to go bye bye because we don't need it anymore. We still got the uh, water pump going. <clears throat> Instead of wrapping all around it, we don't need that anymore. Still got the alternator going. So this should be good to go. I'm going to put all of it back together. Now we'll give it a start and a try to see how it goes. So. Okay. Whew. So, just got the car started for a second. That's how you do it. Before I wake up anyone. Ah, it doesn't work right now. It doesn't work when it's off. So when you start the engine, it works. Freaking A. This was like the easiest conversion ever. Just a lot more work on the nasty side. Time to clean up and uh, plan for the next one. Once again, let me flip it around and show you. Summary, belt. We got rid of everything on the, the left side of the engine. So we're now we're doing belt only on the right side. The rack is good to go. The wheels are probably... Jeez, that's actually pretty darn straight. We'll see tomorrow when I take it for an alignment. So, um, the only thing left, yeah, it's an alignment. And take the car out for a spin, but geez, this is fun. Uh, it feels really good, not too soft, so it doesn't feel like a Cadillac, but it feels pretty darn good. So in summary, get a Ford harness, uh, get that uh, modded so you can reuse that and get your upgraded um, alternator wire and upgraded uh, battery cable and everything. So mod that, um, hook up the, the power and the CAN wires to the ABS module. Make sure you actually double check the wires, make sure they're actually hooked up properly and everything. Um, get a shorter belt. If you have a Department of Boost Manifold, it's 100 inches, give or take. Depending on your pulley, you can actually make that configuration move up and down. Even if you have a bigger or smaller pulley, uh, as you saw, it was moving the, the idler pulleys around. Uh, and then uh, if you don't have a Department of Boost Manifold, uh, take out about, I think it was 30 inches or so, 30, 32 inches. Take that out of the, whatever your length is now. Uh, hint, uh, the, the belt name actually tells you the length. So for me, it was a, let me see, what was the damn size? <clears throat> K081000HD. That means K08, it's got eight ribs, because I got the eight rib swap. And 1000, it's pretty much 100 inches. Uh, and HD is the heavy duty one because with a supercharger you want that. Um, so for you guys it would be KO8 or KO6. I forget the length of the belt without the supercharger, but do the math. Um, take out about 30 inches. Um, yep. Yeah, next thing on the list is let's see what we have. Oh, surprise, surprise. We have. This was delivered by the mailman the other day. Um, Metro Restyling had a smoking deal on some um, some stuff. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna probably do a tour of that whenever that's done. Um, we have the rear sway bar to install. We have the Ford Racing fan for the. Um, um, radiator then we have the titanic heat exchanger to put in there and then we do that we're also going to take out the old um the power steering actually has a, a coolant line that goes in front of the radiator we're going to take that out because yeah there's no way now i'm doing that right now 
And that's about it. And last tip, anything you do, keep some your extra screws around because you never know when you're going to find them useful like I did this time by putting, um, finding some washers in there. Until then, stay tuned, um, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm so happy.